Oh crap, I might have to reset this a couple times. <laughs> Alright, what's up guys? It's your boy Admin, you already know. And uh, I might have to get this mouse out of the way. So yeah, what's up? It's been a while since I uploaded and I know you might be thinking, yo, what is this weird ass game you're playing? I'm gonna explain. This is Mario Kart Super Circuit for the Game Boy Advance. And me and this game have quite a history together. I mean, you won't even believe. But anyway, let's start this up. I'll get into details about this later. Right now, I'm only gonna do 50cc, and I'm gonna pick my girl, Princess Toastool. You know how it is. I mean, usually I would rep Bowser, you know what I'm saying? But he's my Mario Kart 64 exclusive. Even though I played Toastool in that game as well, I exclusively just play Bowser in that game because he's he's my main. You know, it's just, it's just the way it is. But in this game, I play Toastool. So, <laughs> excuse me. Oh my God, that messed me up. All these controls. Okay, I'm sorry, but this is so. Wow. I know it's been a while since I played this game. It's been many years. But Jesus. Wow. Oh, you see that? I'm trying to show you guys my aptitude for aiming in this game. I still haven't lost the magic touch. <laughs> That's something I can't forget. Well, I was, that, you know, that wasn't even a homing one. Anyway, guys, let's talk while we walk. Or, in this case, while we drive. So, as far as, I don't know, like, I'm trying to get used to these controls, but I also want to tell you guys a story. So, pretty much, okay, here's how it goes. There was there are no other games I can let's play right now. I mean, I got pretty much SNES titles, GBA titles, uh, Genesis titles. I suppose I could have done the third, Shish Rage, but I figured, hey, I haven't done a, you know, like a Nintendo Mario title in a while, and this is one that I actually particularly enjoy, so I thought to myself, hey, why not do it? So I'm actually a little bit, not, not that I'm sick, but I got some allergies, you know what I mean? So if you hear some sniffles, either I'll edit it out or just, you know, have to bear with it. So. Yeah, so pretty much this is pretty much my entry. I stopped saying pretty much, man. This is my entry into the uh, Christmas slash New Year's special, I guess. I mean, I apologize severely and profusely because I have not been able to upload anything, no content in a while. And, and wouldn't you know it, I actually left my hard drives back home, back in Florida. I didn't take it with me to New York. I would have been uploading many episodes of things right now. But... So... The Christmas slash New Year special is gonna have to wait until I get back because I didn't bring it with me, and I, it's not like I worked on it much anyway. But you know what I mean? Like I, I'm gonna have to bring it back. I mean, well, I should not know. Just start over and work on it some more. So, ooh, all right. So pretty much like in Mario Kart 64, if you get hit by something and you're like in spin out or tumble animation or whatever, you can hold B or press it with the right timing. I just hold it after a little while, it, it just is safer that way, and you can cancel out your spin outs, which is awesome because it saves your life. So just like any other Mario Kart games, you can just hold things behind your back, toss it behind you, and as a matter of fact, you can toss it in front of you. But the one really awesome feature about this game is that the red shells are like absolute GOAT. Like I'm, I'm talking about, the red shells were per almost perfect in this game. No, they're not quite perfect in this game. The only thing wrong with red shells in this game are that they cannot hit a super tight corner. Like it's, I actually know a lot about this game, despite the way I'm playing. I know a lot of shortcuts, so I can't remember them all. I noticed a lot of shortcuts in this game. Well, see, so what I did right there is I kicked back my red shell. So, yeah. You heard that sound of pew pew pew. <laughs> yeah, I'm terrible at automatopia, but anyway. Ooh, that's how you end with style, baby. But anyway, what you do with the red shells is that you can kick them back, and then they, they, they stay in one location, and they hold on whoever is the next target that passes them. So, let's say, who was second? Luigi? So, yeah, I think it did hit Luigi. I heard him. So, if I kicked it back, it was going to wait for whoever passes it, and Luigi happened to be the one that passed, so it clonked them right in the back of the ass. So that's how it works. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting the timing down perfectly. Look at that, two for two. Anyway, uh, I love this game. I absolutely love it. And I think I just finished describing that I didn't have the time or anything at all for 
any of the specials that I wanted to do, no uploads. It's been very busy for me lately. And now that I have vacation, it would have been the perfect time to upload some stuff, but I forgot to drive. So, anyway, here we are. Well, let me tell you about a little story I have with this game. So, oops, I lost control of that. I don't know how I kicked that there. I was supposed to kick it backwards. But anyway, same effect really, different angle. So, this game and I have quite some history together. I mean, back in the, when I took a vacation to the Dominican Republic, like, for the second or third time, who the hell did that? Can I still use... Yeah, okay, that's awesome. You can still use mushrooms. That's another great point about this game. You can still use mushrooms even though you're tiny. Like, you couldn't do a Mario Kart 64. See, in my opinion, I think the... The red shells would be absolutely perfect if they had the speed of Mario Kart 64. And if they had the... I guess the uh, personality that they do in this game. It would be perfect. I think so. Anyway, when I was in the DR for a visit, I forget what it was the second, first or second time to visit it again. Like, not, not because I used to live there when I was younger, but to visit it again, I don't remember which time it was. It was the first or second time, and I can't remember how old I was, but there was a tournament in the capital. So, when I went there, I, I had no idea that there was a tournament for this game, which... Uh, I'll actually, I'll let you know right now, when I paid a visit there, like, I had this game, and all I did was play it, because, you know, what, you had so much time back then, and, like, there's nothing to do over there, I mean, it's not like there's nothing to do, but, like, when I paid a visit, that all I did was play Mario Kart on uh, Super Circuit, so, I got really, really good at the game, and, like, you don't understand what level of good I, like, I've actually held records here, like, I've actually had a, the world record for one of the stages for a long time until someone beat it but yeah like this game and I have way too much history although it doesn't look like it now like I'm boasting in, in crap but like who well, not trust me man back in my day I was really good at this but the only character I can play in this game is Peach like I'm not even lying to you Toadstool is the only character I can play I can't play any other character I'll, I'll definitely lose that's how it was so Anyway, let me continue the story. I keep digressing. Get the hell out of here, Bowser. So, I went to the DR, and I took part in this tournament, which had over two... Well, actually, no. Here's the exact number. 2,257 entrants. And I still remember this to this day. This is something I just can't forget. And when I was there, it was, a, it was a quite an interesting experience, because I met so many amazing people... And like so many great players, like I, I can't even describe to you how awesome it was. Get the hell out of here, browser! Don't you see I'm trying to win first place, dude? <laughs> oh yeah, right. I, I can't believe I forgot to describe this. But if you're wondering why I'm picking up these coins, is that in order to get the best ranks in this game and the best whatever, I guess it actually makes you go faster. But if you if you get the all the coins. You pick up the kinds in, this, in these levels, you actually get a, a much higher score, and that's what you need to get the higher ranks. So, I think the ranks go from like rank E to like rank triple star. So, I'll probably get like a B or an A or something because I did collect a lot of coins, I had pretty decent time. But yeah, it's E, D, C, uh, B, A, what is the next star, double star, triple star thing. I think that's the maximum. At least triple star is the most I've ever gotten. I don't think there's something... Oh, no, no. A, S, and then star, double star, and triple star. So, there you go. I think if I had 150 coins, I would have gotten an S rank or... I don't know. I don't think... I'm not sure, but... Here's how I'm going to do it, guys. <clears throat> I'm not going to do 100 and 150 CC. Not now, while I'm on vacation. I might continue this sometime, but what I plan to do is just play from all five of these cups, and that's all I want to do. I want to do all the cups on 50cc and trust me it's gonna be a handful already because I haven't played in a while and I'm trying to get all the coins or as much as I can you know how it is <clears throat> and I love this song <clears throat> so anyway I'm the worst at telling stories because I take forever telling them <laughs> Ooh, star second let's go baby I hate the stars in this in this game because they last for like two seconds like look, look at that it's over already that was even that's that's that worse than I thought <laughs> But anyway, 
So, I was in the DR and the, I took part of this tournament. And when I played the Mario Kart Super Circuit, damn it, I couldn't show you guys. I couldn't show you guys. I was trying to show you guys the uh, what it looked like for the homing, but I suck. <laughs> yeah, Luigi, get out of the way I'm trying. Oh my god, Luigi! Oh, whatever. Let me not get sidetracked here. I'm doing pretty good for, like, not, you know, trying to focus and tell you guys the story. But anyway, so while I was in the DR, I took part of this tournament, and this tournament was, like, the best tournament of all time. Best tournament I've ever experienced. Because not, not only did it have many entries, but it had many great players. Like, I'm talking about me and my two cousins, we both registered. We were all great players because we all had the game. And we practiced, we played against each other. Dude, we were monsters. But I was the best among us, you know. So, I, I knew I had a better chance of winning against them too. Because I knew their strategy, I knew how they played. They knew how I played too, but it's just... I knew more about the game, you know. Being uh, accustomed with America and all that, you know what I mean? Like, I, I learned all these strategies from meeting our players. So, uh, yeah. So, I, I took part of the tournament. And there were so many rounds, like... But there were so many setups. I'm talking about, there was like, uh, you know the Game Boy player or adapter attachment that goes to the bottom of the GameCube? We had that, we had the uh, the four controllers, and four GameCube controllers, we had like, what was it, like 70 televisions? It was a huge venue, huge venue. Like, it had to take place in like, different rooms and stuff like that. I'm talking about, we were in a gigantic mall area. And it was amazing. There were so many freaking players. Okay, I'm not gonna take these. You know, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna play safe in this in this level. I love this level, but I'm not gonna take any shortcuts here, simply because I'm not confident that I can, you know, uh, accomplish them successfully. So I'm gonna stay away from those. But I will get as many coins as I can. But anyway, as I was saying, I was like, oh god, let me slow the hell down. So, yo, browser. Alright, whatever, whatever. I gotta stop. Like, okay, no. That's the story. So, <clears throat> I was playing, and I knew there would be some play. Like, I, I watched a whole bunch of players from the back when it wasn't my turn to play. You know, I just studied the competition, as any naturally good player would do. Any any good sportsman would do. They would study the matchups and the competition, right? So, that's what I did. And turns out there were these, oh my god! Yeah, you turn any corner wrong, and wow, you're you're doomed. <laughs> Poor Yoshi, I'm sorry, but yeah, I started the competition, and there were these five or four players, and was it two or was it three? Three of them were eliminated. Uh, I figured out that uh, let's see, one of them was from like Holland, another one was from Germany. And I'm like, what are these guys doing way the hell out here? They couldn't even speak Spanish. They just knew when their name was being called out, and that's all, all that mattered to me. <gasps> that was stupid of me. That was really stupid of me. I can't believe it. Yo, stop hitting me. All right, so when someone hits you, you lose your canes. And that's not good because... Oh, crap. Oh, God. Now I got to lose. I got to lose. I'm sorry, but I'm only taking first place. What? Oh, hey, hey, don't make me cross the finish line. How do you reverse? Is it back and... Yeah, back and break. Alright, now I can go. Because if you win anything past 4th place, if, if you place at all like after 4th, then you lose. See the first 4 on the left there? They're the winners. And the latter half are losers. So, obviously you want to go with the former. Any of those positions, but... Anyway, well, as I was saying... <clears throat> 